Um, yes, my question to you, Tim. Uh, do you or would you get any bilateral support to shut down the current scourge of online betting and the waste of national resources and problem gambling, especially affecting vulnerable young men? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I do support a Bill of Rights. I fiercely disagree with politicians. But, you know, you can fiercely disagree and still love people. I, <laughs> I love yes. my brother. I don't know if he loves me, but Peter, I love my brother. former treasurer. <laughs> uh, when, when we come to um, uh, gambling, Aaron, gambling in this country is uh, what the NRA is in America mm. in terms of its dominance, its capture of regulators of both sides of politics. Uh, uh, this is extraordinary. We have the greatest gambling losses of any nation in the world, 40% higher than the nation that comes second. And why is it that way? Because uh, we have 75% of all the world's pokies in pubs and clubs. 75%. Most pokies are in casinos, they're destination gambling, you plan to go there. When it comes to sports betting, it's the same story now. Uh, we have uh, 743 ads on free-to-air TV each day, sports betting ads. Britain. UK has 11 a week. We have 743 a day. Italy, Spain have I think there's one every two them. minutes, I think, from what I understand. Sorry? One every two minutes, I One think. every two minutes. We had the sports bet Brownlow, the sports bet uh, grand final. Uh, it's why the AFL virtue signalling on the Andrew Thorburn one gets under my skin a bit because they can do $4.5 billion for TV rights because they're going to sell far more sports bets grooming our kids. So... Um, this uh, last time I was on q and I was on with a former Liberal senator and I said we need a gambling Royal Commission. He threw up his arms. Tim always wants Royal Commissions. That's ridiculous. Nothing wrong with the industry. Well, we've now had Royal Commissions from Perth to Melbourne to Sydney to Queensland. What did we find? Into casinos enabling organised crime, uh, selling drugs and cleaning it to our kids. Will I get support? Uh, only if people continue to speak up and say enough. Uh, why should a 10-year-old now know the logo jingle odds of sports betting ads, which are an adult pro product? And they've never watched AFL, NRL without thinking it's associated with sports betting. So um, thank you for asking the question. And, and I'm, sure, I'm sure our politicians can take that one on notice.